guys, you watching my real life vlogs and today I'm taking you guys on a family camping trip. So my last vlog kind of ended with me telling you guys about this trip. So now I'm just picking up kind of where we left off. I told y'all, if you watch my real life vlogs, it's a timeline. Each vlog tells the story of the next one. So here's where we are right now. I'm sitting in my kitchen looking at all this stuff that needs to go in bags and boxes and containers. So I'm doing that right now. I like to be extremely organized with this camping thing as with most things in my life. So you guys are not gonna see anything different here. Anthony left to go and drop Sansa off at the kennel because she's not gonna be able to join us for this trip. She's a little bit too big and we also had to rent this van which I just got back renting from Enterprise and it's no pets allowed in the van. It's just all this no pet stuff. So we're gonna just drop her off at the kennel. I wish she could come. Maybe she'll come with us to the next camping trip. Anyway, my hair is in twists because I didn't want to have to do my hair on this trip. It's not anything cute so there was no tutorial or anything like that. I just threw it in with some of that kinky um, Jamaican twist hair just so I wouldn't have to do my hair. And is at therapy, so I'm thinking the plan is that we'll finish up everything here, all the packing, have everything in the van, and then just swing by to get her and then get right on the road since her therapy center is located by one of the main freeways that we need to use to get where we're going. So I'm thinking that's the plan, hopefully we can do it. So here's how the kitchen is looking so far. I got everything kind of categorized. Personal bag instead of a purse, right? A lot of the equipment, electrical stuff for starting fires, extra batteries, things like that. Some personal hygiene items right here. Got some kitchen supplies in this thing, like knives and spatulas and stuff like that. Um, and then some things that need to go into the cooler, which is just this Coleman cooler, you guys. This thing keeps your um, cool items cool for five days straight. So this is perfect for a weekend camping getaway. And then over here is food. So I already put everything inside. I was really just testing it out last night to see if it could all fit. And then once it was all in there, I was like, ah, done with that. So this is just all of our seasonings, snacks, things of that nature. Mostly what I did y'all was take some of the stuff out of the bulky packaging. For example, these kind bars, just putting in exactly what we would need and just leaving the packaging out of it because when you do that, stuff doesn't fit. This this helps it, things fit better. And these are all like paper and plastic goods here. I am gonna prepare some foods before we leave, you guys. So I have these Sterilite food storage containers because I'm gonna prepare the things and have them in here. That way I'm not like out on the campsite trying to chop up stuff and whatever. So I want the majority of it to already be prepared. So I'm going to prepare everything now, okay, let me take you guys over here to the foyer. Don't look at my floors, they need to be cleaned. It's a mess, I've been in and out, it's been raining. <laughs> um, this is all of the stuff for inside of our tent, mostly pillows and blankets and things. This is Anne's little cot she's gonna be sleeping on. I grabbed this pad to go on top of it. It's really soft though, it's kinda like sleeping on a beach chair, if you guys can imagine that. And then that's Anne's luggage. My luggage is upstairs. So this is my luggage here. Mostly just pajamas and loungewear and athletic apparel because that's all you need for a camping trip. All the phones are charging, all of the battery packs are charging, the laptop, the Bluetooth speaker, <laughs> a lot of stuff. Um, I need to clean the grills off because they are a little bit dirty from the last time we used it. Oh, let me show y'all the garage because that's a whole nother. Okay, so this is most of the stuff we're bringing right here, these chairs our sleeping bags, these blow up mattresses, charcoals and wood pellets, and our firewood pile here. I have my fishing rods in here, but I don't think I'm gonna bring them this time. I don't think we're gonna be fishing, and I think it'll just be a waste. And then this is the van. It's a Dodge Grand Caravan. We love this kind of van specifically because of the stow and go seating. So this is a seven seater van, but you can tuck in the seats that you don't need. So we tucked in this whole back row so it'll give us all this space. And we have so much stuff, I really felt like we needed the space and I wanted Anne to be comfortable sitting in the back. So we just went ahead and rented this thing. Okay, so I have an hour and a half to get everything off these counters into containers, out of the house and into this freaking van. You guys think we can do it? Doesn't seem like a lot of time, but we're gonna do it. All the stuff that I'm preparing beforehand. Vegetables already chopped and 
portion ready to go. I got the lemon even down in there. And yes, I washed off the lemon before I put it in there. This is another container of vegetables. We're just gonna do like a little stir fry or something. Got my shrimp and I got a bowl of fruit, just already cut up and ready for Anne. And some of her leftover carrots from earlier. And then grilled cheeses. So they're already ready to go. All I'll have to do is butter them and put them on the grill for her grilled cheeses. This is just gonna save time, make it easier, less stress. Oh my God. We did it, y'all. Down to the last minute. Down to the last minute. We are driving out of our neighborhood right now to go pick up Ann. Y'all, look at all the stuff we got. Mostly blankets up here, though. But it's packed to the brim. So glad we decided to rent this van because there would have been no way all this stuff would have fit in one of our SUVs. No way. It's a lot of stuff, but it's a lot of people we're trying to feed. A lot of experiences we're trying to have and we definitely want to be comfortable because we're at a point where the weather where it's like it can be hot it can be cold so we just had to bring so much extra stuff just in case so yeah <laughs> Request um, a couple more of these and, uh, and just pay the charge. Okay, each site is good for two tents, one vehicle, and six people. You have more of that than anything, you, any of those categories, you're going to pay extra. Okay. The third tent's going to be $15 a night. The extra child, I will charge you for the child because they're cheaper. That's $3 a night. And the car is $5 a night for one, and then you'll have to park the other one up there. Okay. okay? That sounds fair. Okay. My view from the front of our tent. I couldn't show y'all the whole setup thing because it was, it was ridiculous. It was crazy. We were trying to hurry before the nightfall. But this is kind of our little camp here. I'll show y'all a better view in the morning. We got the lights going. We got the tiki torches. We're cooking dinner right now. This is kind of our little picnic set up over here with a tablecloth. We got our LED lights, woohoo! All our supplies there. Um, I started opening up wine and stuff, girl. Got my little plastic wine cups. So this is just kind of the setup going on right over here. We got the fire pit right here. We got bro. Good. Good. <laughs> Him and Mumu are setting everything up. Um, yeah, the fire pit's been going, going pretty good. I'm watching Harlem Nights, obviously. And um, got the projector and stuff set up right here. Everybody's just chilling. There's Nissa over there, chilling, chilling, chilling. We got Stephanie over here, you know, gang, gang, gang. <laughs> and our big tone over there, checking on the fire. And Mumu is inside the tent. Y'all see her later. She's trying to get the blow up matches together. So we over here cooking. We got some <laughs> some basmati rice, and then we are just kind of sauteing some veggies. I think they're ready though right now. We take them out, sauteing the veggies got like this propane stove situation going on so it's real real easy I'm trying to keep things as sanitary as possible I got the antibacterial wipes right here just kind of cleaning everything as I go because these bugs out here are something else but these are just mushrooms tomatoes and asparagus and I use some of that I use a seasoning mix I threw the package away but it's like a Baja seasoning so we're gonna do some shrimp and muscle meat and this is the Baja mix here so I used half of it in the veggies and I'm gonna use the other half on the actual meats. So yeah. Oh, look at the inside of Stephanie's cool tent. 
It really looks like a cabin. It even has a closet. <laughs> so cool. She got her lantern up top. She got her coffee in the corner, girl. Ain't nobody playing. Girl, fans, all types of stuff. And this little door, honey, looks like a car door. Look, it closes like, uh, stop it. And then it hits, it hits the Velcro, so you're good. You know what I mean? It's so much better than having to constantly zip. She got that new sh, new sh. And here's me, girl. Whole mess. I'm not even a whole mess. I'm a half of a mess. That's how crazy it has been. Cannot wait to get in the shower, you guys. Okay, so let me let me pull these veggies off. I mean, it is so late. Y'all don't even wanna know how late it is. But it took a long time to get this whole camp set up. A long time here. And I'm gonna spray some more of this Pam. Let's go ahead and saute this meat. Everything's ready. That's the seafood. That's the rice. And that's the veggies. Not bad, not bad. Okay, you guys. Dinner was delicious. I'm just freshening up a little bit, putting on my PJs. And by freshen up, I mean, <laughs> okay, just get some of the surface clean. Cleaned my face. I brought some rose water wipes for my face. Just a quick wipe down, because I'm not gonna go to the showers tonight. They do have showers here on site and everything, but I'm not gonna go tonight, because first of all, it's like midnight. It's a little too late, and um, I'll make it through the night. I'll just do it in the morning. So, you guys can't see our setup very well, but me and Anthony are gonna sleep on this blow up mattress over here. I'll show you guys a tour in the morning of everything we got going on. And then Anne is over there sleep on her little cot. The lights that you guys see are just the ones that are outside. We don't have them like inside. So you can kind of see them through the tent, which is really kind of nice. And they're solar lights, so they don't have to be plugged in. So they'll go all night, all night until they run out of juice. I think it's kind of cool. Anne really loved it. She was seeing like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star because she thinks they're stars. So, it's kind of nice. I put them on the mold where they continue to change the pattern and everything. Got her iPad charging. My battery pack that goes inside my luggage. This is my away battery pack. Came in handy too clutch. When we go to sleep tonight, we're gonna use this little ribbon right here that came with the tent. I'm gonna use this to tie these um, zippers together tonight just so that Anne doesn't escape at all. This will make it more difficult for her to escape. I'm gonna tie it in a knot. Okay, let me take you guys out here. Okay, we got the stairs to now. <laughs> I'm laughing at this. <laughs> They're watching Jason. <laughs> or, oh, Halloween. Everybody's chilling, the fire's still going well. It's really warm over here. Oh, really nice. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on over here? What happened? Why y'all laughing at me? Oh, look at you over here like, we about to watch Jason. <laughs> you know what? We about to watch Jason. This is Michael Myers as hell. I didn't even look at, this, this is how I didn't even look at the damn screen. I'm waiting Shoot. on everybody because I fixed the sound, so I'm gonna be oh, courteous. Man. We can start this. He said, I'm waiting on everybody because I, I fixed I, I, the I'm sound. I'm y'all know, we, wait, we, we, we fix the sound, so take y'all time. We finna enjoy this. <laughs> Stephanie's like, all right, I'm gonna go to sleep now. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. Look at these little old lady chairs with the uh, blankets ready to go. Who you calling an old lady? Everybody take a shot. You know what, that's kind of a, a really fun game. Every time As a man kill. Uh, a, a current kill, not a flashback kill. Not a flashback yeah, kill. Flashback kill too, why, why, is, why is Anthony on guard? He's like, y'all need me to pull out my Glock. <laughs> my little bedside table, I gotta show y'all this, okay? It's a Coleman LED candle, y'all, that changes colors. I don't know how this happens, I can't explain it. It's not my job to explain it. It's my job to show y'all. Look at this, right before your eyes, it's changing colors. The entire rainbow. And it is a candle. 
and they're calling it an LED candle and it doesn't just provide light from the fire this entire situation here is providing light like I don't even know if y'all can see this let me see if I can make it more visible probably not but um this whole area is illuminated with color just from this candle it's so wild y'all they're still out there watching Michael Myers and I'm just in here with my toes out like what sleepy I'm trying to be sleepy y'all it's like it's like two o'clock in the morning and mugs ain't nowhere near sleepy I can't do it we're still the kids we used to be oh, oh. No, that's okay. Hey guys. Aww, that's a cute uh, mug. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta ask yourself why you have that response. Alright, so we cooked the vegetables, poured the egg in. And now we're popping it into this boiling water. Super easy omelets. Some have cheese, like that one. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, little mama right there, bam. Bam. It in there. The almonds turned out great. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to get up in there. <laughs> Anthony has the omelet. Let me see. Let me see the inside of it. That's the key. Yeah, you gotta cook the cook the veggies before you put them in there and the meat or whatever you're trying to do. And there you have it. Perfect. I wonder if restaurants do a certain do a um a version of that. So so Alex got herself a beer mosa. But yeah, so this is a beer mosa. And basically it's a um, mimosa with beer. <laughs> yeah. As indicated by the name of the item. Juice. <laughs> tropical orange juice. And some uh three one two, you know how we do. This uh food bin is getting lighter and lighter and I'm loving it because then it's like less stuff to take back. Um yeah, it's probably gonna be practically empty. By the time we get back, so that means my packing was successful. You know you planned right when the rations are just enough. Yeah. You remember when we first met? But hey, admitting is the first step. What you doing in here, Auntie? Huh? Yeah. The end, I was like. That's where she gets it from. It's crumbs on the sheet, so I'm just gonna kiss. Make it to the first step, but first step. Okay, we listening to some Afro beats. Everybody's kind of chilling, cleaning up after breakfast. I'm gonna show y'all a quick tour of our tent. Okay, so as we enter the tent, y'all, my cooler's right here, my chair is right here, shoes out here. That's where I'm gonna leave mine as well. Once you step in, it's a little rug right here, which I highly recommend put a rug here I also recommend putting rugs or yoga mats all over the place especially if you have a lot of floor space in your tent because it's gonna help with um, dirt and comfort and stuff like that because this is not really the business here okay so I just want to give you guys some ideas for like your next camping trip if you hadn't thought of this stuff already we put our shoes in these little crevices here there's Anna's shoes and then just a blanket we got our LED lanterns a heater which is also a fan I highly recommend that um, I showed you guys the cord coming in through here because this particular campsite has um, electricity and water but if you do primitive camping you obviously have to think of something different I do want to do primitive camping one day but anyway little table over here this is a pop-up table it, it folds down so small you guys um, and it fits in a little bag so that's perfect got my solar battery pack here for charging USBs Kleenex off my LED candle with the light changing got my Dura flame here and here is our bed and then I'm using this serving tray you guys because I feel like this is great for like enjoying food or beverages in your in your blow-up mattress this also can double like as a table because it's another flat surface because if you think you're gonna balance something on this thing you can forget about it I wouldn't recommend it I wouldn't depend on it so that's a good choice for that yeah this is just a queen blow-up mattress from Walmart we have our comforter here sleeping bags that my dad gave us we ended up not even using them we got all of our luggage and backpacks across this area. Some blankets for Anne, her iPad, her 
backpack and then we're using these pockets those are like little garbage bags that have a fragrance to them in case we have to dispose of some of Anne's training pants this is Anne's little cot super comfy <laughs> she's hopping in and her outfit is laid out this is what she's wearing today hello Nike Nike uh, athletic set this is Anne's luggage some of her little blocks that she can't live without then I got my Ozark trail LED light up here it has a couple different light settings so it can get a little darker. It can just be like this kind of red light here. So it's pretty cool. Look at Ann, get your butt down. So yeah, open all the windows because we love that. We can just see out. It's pretty nice. Yeah, so that's our that's our little tent tour. Look at Ann having a blast. You having so much fun, girl. <laughs> you love camping? You love camping? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm about to give Ann a sponge bath with these wipes because this particular campsite um, has showers, a public shower situation, but I went in there to check it out and I don't like it, so I won't be taking Ann in there. And I, I figured I wouldn't, which is why I brought the wipes, the body wipes for her, just in case. Mm -hmm. I love getting kisses from you. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, yeah, give her a sponge bath and then get her all set up. You trying to push me onto the bed, Ian? I already got out of that bathroom. <laughs> Move over there laughing at me. I couldn't stand another second. I took the quickest shower in the world. The bathhouse is what they call it. Gross. Y'all get heebie jeebies about stuff like that. I cannot handle it. I cannot handle um, community showers. I can't. I think I had an anxiety attack. That was rough. Anyway, look, look at this beautiful um, scenery here. Very nice. There's an RV park over there with people with their RVs parked. <laughs> and then there are more tents all around this area. Alex, she couldn't get dressed in there either. I just could not. But anyway, this is what it's looking like in the daytime, y'all. Lots of tents down there. They have a tent like ours right there. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's kind of empty. It's a little bit off season. I think the park is about to close for the season too, like in a month. But this is our little setup here. This is our little food assembly station over here. <laughs> a couple grills. And was uh, I thought she was about to take a nap, but she's she's playing the jump rope game. <laughs> Little sis Alex. <laughs> Brushing those choppers on the same stuff her big sis was just on. Y'all, I love this little logged area over here. We're gonna have to come over here and chill a bit. This is kind of nice here. Now, honestly, when I camp, I would love to be able to like just pitch a tent like over here in an area like this, but this stuff over here was off limits because you know. They need to make sure you're safe and all that, so you have to be like on their, on their grid over there. But I would love to just come over here and do my thing, honestly. Do some primitive camping, no electricity, no water. Just LED lanterns and bottled water, you know what I mean? Real cool, I'm having an IPA right quick. Yeah. Come over here, sit next to me. Mm -mm -mm. I took a sip of something poison, but hold on tight. Yeah. Uh, love the choreography. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Leaning, leaning. 
<laughs> Are they pretty heavy? Yeah. I'm gonna get ready to take these out. And they look like you could wear them for... I know, the braid itself is so yeah. well done that I'm just like, man, it was... You could it pull it. New growth. You could pull it. You know, some people have techniques on YouTube where they show like how to refresh these. Around the perimeter? Yes. Yes, and you could even twist it and make it look like, you know how people do locks. Oh. Yeah, hon. You might want to pull it since the braided part is still so flawless. I'm getting hot. Okay, come on, Ann. Come on, Mommy. Up to no good. All right, it's time for a grilled cheese happening, right? So what we're gonna do is hey, we're gonna spray it with some parquet. This, look at these bees. Hi there. And we're gonna pop this bit. Oh, I need to spray the grill spray on here so it doesn't stick. And come back, come back. Put it right there in the middle. This is just my Pam grilling spray. Bam. What you love, it's alright, don't be afraid. Alright, the texture's there. Let's see if she likes it. Only the evening flight is reasonable. Every flight, and that's Are like you ready? 6.55 to 9.30, everything else. It's, it's delicious, Ann. Alright, we're on the trolley. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Round and round, round and round. Wheels on the bus go round and round. All through the town. <laughs> okay, she thinks she's on a bus. This might be her first time on a bus. No, she's well, she was on a trolley, I think, before. This is the uh, campers over here. They kicking it in these campers. Huh? And we gotta get a camper eventually because we like it. So we're gonna go ahead and do it. Some of those campers got decks. Pull up on the deck. Some are like permanently placed. Yeah. They call it extended stay. Listen, I gotta end this vlog here and you guys gotta tune in on Wednesday at 11 a.m. to see all the stuff that we did at the amusement park. I also wanna share how we baked some pizzas outside and I wanna tell y'all what happened when we ran into some other black people from Chicago. See y'all then.